This is my favorite vacuum cleaner of all time. It is the Black & Decker Pivot Lithium 20 Volt. Right now it's already open, but when it curves down, folds down, it's super compact. Right now it's open up already. The problem with this vacuum cleaner from Black & Decker is that the batteries die too quickly and there's no way you can replace it easily. So the solution is to remove this swivel head. Take out the two screws at this position and then remove this cover. Next, take the battery component out and you're left with these bare wires. We will only use the brown and black. Black is ground. Brown is the hot wire. The red wire is actually the feedback voltage. I'm not sure why we need it, but I have never need to use it, so we're going to skip the red wire for now. We're going to just use the black and brown wire. Now, what batteries are we going to use? We will be using the Milwaukee M18 batteries. These are super durable lithium ion batteries. Press it here so you can see how much battery life is left. There's two bars right now. In order to use the M18 batteries with this vacuum cleaner, we will 3D print and an adapter. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can always um, buy this from eBay. Basically, this converts the M18 into two wires, black and red. We will connect these to the black and brown of the vacuum cleaner. I'll send you the. Uh, I'll share you the uh, three D STL file for this from Thingiverse. It has three holes, so you can mount it to anything. Let's mount it on the bottom side here, so you can see our way through three holes, and then one big hole for the two wires going back into the vacuum cleaner. If you want to drill into plastic, the best way to drill it is to start small. So I'm starting with this super small and go working my way up to the bigger holes. If you try to, to drill straight with the bigger holes, then it will crack the plastic instantly. So you can see that I already uh, drilled the holes, one, two, three, for the bottom three holes of the battery adapter. Next is the one big hole for the two big wires to go back into the vacuum cleaner. Once you drill all of your four holes, this is what it should look like. You can see that the leads is, is going into the big hole. And then there's uh, there should be three bolts going in, but I only have two. So that's why you only see two out of three. I wire as such that you can see right here. Black to black, brown to red. You can use the small battery pack or the bigger brothers. Putting back everything together and this is what you should see. It is truly a Frankenstein vacuum. I have the biggest Milwaukee battery in there as you can see. It sticks out a lot. Let's flip the switch boop, to see if it actually works or not. Whoa. And there you go. It works as advertised. Hope it works out for you. This is one less vacuum that I have to throw in a trash can. 
one other thing that you should be very careful of is that because this vacuum does not talk to the battery, therefore it's possible that the vacuum, and it is, it will, it will definitely happen, is that the vacuum will drain the battery all the way down to zero. And that's not a good thing. So once in a while, be sure to press this button on your Milwaukee battery to verify that there's still life left. If there's no life left, if there's one bar, then you better unplug this battery and charge it up or else this will be $100 down the drain because the battery cannot be reused if it goes down to all the way down to zero.